What's up, Get Better Basketball community? I'm Coach DeMarco, and this is Focused. In today's episode, I'm going to give you a complete breakdown of St. Peter's Toss Series and two plays they love to use out of it. You're going to love this episode, but before I jump into it, you know what to do. Subscribe to Get Better Basketball on YouTube, turn on your notifications, and hit that like button down below. Now, let's focus in on the St. Peter's Toss Series. Two great plays here from St. Peter's that complement one another. Now, we're going to see them start out in a four across setup. And they're going to do this in both of their actions, kind of in between a four low and then more of a four high type of setup. But they're going to start four across in this action, which is going to be their flare action in this series, is going to start out with a pin down. Now here comes the toss action. As a football coach, we would call this a toss play when the quarterback would toss the ball back to a running back. And I think it's very similar in this type of situation. So we're going to get the pin down and now we're going to get a pass and then a toss back to the original passer. Off of that is going to be the flare screen. So this player is setting up for the flare. But because of the toss action, you're going to notice these two Purdue defenders are going to run into each other. If I was defending this action, one option would be to try to switch against it or to come under it because they're running it so high. Now, yes, this is probably the best shooter on St. Peter's, but we are much further out. So even if you came under it, you're going to be above the NBA three-point line. If he's going to pull and hit shots from just about half court, then good luck to them. I know he is a great shooter, but I think you could come under it. I think that you could switch it. But now there's the second action. So these two players run into each other. So he's already trailing. Now the flare screen is going to come. Now this defender here would need to step out on this flare screen and help out, could open up a roll. They're taking this player and they're bringing him over to what is currently the strong side of the floor. But as this pass comes, they're moving him away from the action that they want to hit, which is this flare screen right here. So he's going to catch. I don't think he could have any more space to get this shot off because these two guys run into each other. But even so, they're also going to set the flare screen to finish off the action. He's going to knock down the three-pointer. So I'm going to let this play through a couple more times at full speed. There's your pin down. There's your toss action, the flare, and the open three-pointer. Now this is going to be the lob play in this series. So again, going to set up in a little bit of a four across look. But this time, they're going to come to this side of the floor, and here comes your toss action once again. Now, here's the shooter for St. Peter's. He's going to come across the baseline as a decoy, and he's going to get a pin down from this player and come into this side. And watch the impact that has. If you have a great shooter on your team, it makes such a difference because defense really has to worry about him. His defender is eyeing him up and looking at him, not seeing the rest of the floor. And watch the attention now as he comes across the floor looking to get the basketball. You're going to see this defender is going to sit right here. He should also have recognition to the other side of the floor, but he's not worried about that right now. So instead of a flare screen on this side this time, it's going to be more of a back screen where this player is going to loop around and they're going to come and get a lob for a dunk. And you see, look at this player. He could potentially be that help defender, right? He could be sitting in the paint here, but he's cheating outside of the paint to make sure that this player cannot get a shot off. If he doesn't and he goes to the lob, then they're going to make the pass here and they're going to have potentially an open shot or turn the corner and a dump inside for a dunk. So multiple options out of this series, but I really like how they use this player as a decoy. As I focus in, I always talk about how the details make such a big difference. So on this toss action, as that's happening, again, I want to point out this, this offensive player is going to come down and set a little bit of a screen for this player on the baseline 
who's going to come off that screen and then the pin down on the other side. That's going to draw a lot of attention. You can see this defender has eyes there and eventually this one as well. So these details make a difference. This initial screen, which is going to cause this defender to scramble a little bit more. He has to get a little bit wider. He's chasing now. And now he's going to chase off this second screen. And watch this defender. He's pointing out here. He's recognizing that this is the shooter. He's even probably thinking, if this guy's open, I'm going to run out and get a hand in his face. We do not want to let him get a shot off. What he's not looking at or paying as much attention to is this player coming off what was a flare the last time, but now a little bit more of a back screen, and he's going to come and get this lob. So it's all the little details. It's it's the first time they run the play, and they use the flare screen for a three-pointer. It's coming back now. It's all the previous games and the film knowing that this player – comes off, and he's a great shooter. So the num the attention that is drawn to him, and if you look right here, this defender steps up, thinking maybe there could be a ball screen action, helping his teammates to recognize this player out on the perimeter. But right behind him is going to be that lob for a dunk. So great design by St. Peter's. Purdue is a great basketball team, played well in this game. But St. Peter's execution of this action is going to make the difference. And you can see all the defenders turn and look up. Oh, boy, we got a guy that got behind us here. But that's the design by St. Peter's. Credit to them for these complementary actions that they're using. One's a flare, one's a lob. Look very similar, but they end up with different results. It has been an absolute joy watching St. Peter's play and win in the NCAA tournament. This toss series is just one of the complimentary sets that Coach Shaheen Holloway has used with his team during March Madness. I look forward to watching them play in the future. If you like this video, then make sure you drop me a comment down below and you know what else to do. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe to Get Better Basketball on YouTube and turn on your notifications. As always, get better every day. If you want to knock down shots like we saw in this video, then make sure you invest in a brand new Dr. Dish all-purpose shooting machine. Mention hashtag GBETBBChat or the Get Better Basketball chat for up to $300 off a brand new Dr. Dish shooting machine. Don't miss out on this great opportunity.